Hello, welcome back everyone, welcome in. My name is Kyra. Thank you for joining me this afternoon, morning, evening, whatever it is for you. I'm glad you made it. All right, so today we have a 15 minute posture and balance workout that we're gonna do today. We have five exercises. We're gonna do them twice for each circuit and then we're gonna move on to the second circuit. All right, so this is gonna be a slow and controlled workout, really being aware of where we're positioning our body, where we're distributing our weight, and where we are within our space. All right, so to get started, let's go ahead and get marching here. Just a big march, big knees, big arms. This is the most cardio we're gonna to have today, I would say, is a warm up to get us all ready. Big march, good. Trying to catch a beat with your feet, good. And now let's bring it a little wider, just a wide march here. Bringing those feet side to side, shifting that weight. Good. Keep it up. Do five more. Four, three, two, and bring it back to the center. Bring it back out. Five, four, three, two, one. Center. Good. All right. Now we can just have a wide stance here. Feet are shoulder width apart. And we're just going to shift side to side. Left foot to right foot or whatever it is for you. Just shifting that weight. Being aware where, where, where we are distributing it. Good. All right. Side side, but you can add a little reach. Pick those oranges, apples, grapes, whichever you prefer. Reach to the sky while shifting that weight. Good. Let's do four more. Three, two, last one. All right. Now let's have our feet one staggered in front of the other. And we're just going to shift forward to back. Kind of like a rocking chair here. You can choose one leg to have forward right now. And we'll switch in a little bit to go to the other side. Shifting our weight forward and back. Good. Standing tall. Eyes are up. Ears are up. Good. All right. Two more. One and two. Okay. Now let's put that other foot in front. Same thing. Rocking back and forth. Shifting that weight in a little bit here. We're going to add all four of these shifts together. We're going to make a nice little square. Forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Let's do two more. Two and one. Good. All right. So we're going to go into a big square here. We're going to start by stepping to the sides, shifting our weight to the front to the back. Good. Then we're going to side, side, front, back, side, side, front, back. Just choose one leg to lead with right now because we will be getting the other one in a little bit. Good. Side, side, front, back, side, side, front, back. Let's do two more with this lead leg. One more square. Front and back. All right. Starting with the other leg now. Same concept here. We're stepping to the side, making a square, and then we're going forward, back, side, side, forward, back, side, side, forward, and back. Being aware of where we're distributing our weight. Slow this down if you need. Use a chair if you need. I forgot to mention. You're more than welcome to use a chair or a kitchen sink, counter, anything to help you be a little more balanced and just to have it near you. Good, side, side, let's do two more. Two, last one, Woo. good, all right, all right. Let's get those elbows and shoulders back. This is a posture check here, opening up, driving those elbows back behind us. Back, down, and around. Good morning. 
body. Good. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. All right. Swim it forward here. Big arm circles. Up and around. Good. Keep swimming through the lake, ocean, whichever you prefer. All right. Backstroke. Good. Reverse it. Keep it up. Almost done with our cool down here. Warm up. Wow, not, not quite yet. Let's do five more. Three, two, and last one. Good. All right, back to that march. All right, now let's go into some twist here. You can have your feet shoulder width apart. We're just going side to side, looking over that shoulder here. Really focus on turning your torso, and if you would like a challenge, twist that back foot, just as we do in our crosses, punch, our cross punch, sorry. Whew. All right, let's do four more. Three, two, last one, good. All right, bring it back to that march. And we are good. All right, grab some water here. We're going to get ready to get into our first circuit. Starting out, we're going to begin with some shoulder retracts. I'm just going to run through our list quick and let you know what we have. Get us prepared. So this is just our shoulder retracts. Just like we're on the TRX, but we don't have the TRX with us here. So we're just going to squeeze our shoulder blades back by driving shoulders back. Like we have a pencil in between. You want to capture it. Good. All right. Then we're going to go heel toe raise. You guys know how to do those. Then a lap pull down. Same concept. Making that letter W. Driving the elbows back and down. Squeezing those shoulder blades. And we're just going to go front, side, and back. And on the other end. Okay. Just thought I'd run that through with you guys. Whenever you are ready, we will begin. All right, starting out here again, we're doing those shoulder retracts, squeezing those shoulder blades together as if we are capturing something between them. This is really going to focus on keeping our posture up, our head high, our shoulders back. The more we strengthen our back muscles, the taller we're going to stand and the tighter they're going to be to zip us up. Good. Keep it up. Keep squeezing. Squeeze those shoulders. Bring them back. You should be feeling this in your trap area and your shoulder blades. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze. You have 10 seconds. You got it. Keep pushing. Squeeze. Squeeze. Keep going. And one. Good. All right. Shake it out. That'll get your shoulders warmed up. All right. Then we can get ready to get into our heel and toe raise. We're just going to begin by doing some heel raises or toe raises, heel raises. Yeah. Calf raises. You can use that chair during this if you'd like again. And whenever you're ready, we can get into it. Toe raise, reaching to the sky, good. Let's do five more, five, four. Make sure we're distributing our weight right on top of us. We're not leaning forward, standing tall. Last one, good, all right. And same thing with those heel raises here. Gonna lift those heels. Our body really likes, even I'm trying to a little bit, to go back, but we need to stay tall. Squeeze our momentum, good. Little toe raise. You can do the seated two. And one, good, all right. And that's it for those heels and toe raises. Next up, we have a lap pull down. So our arms are way up in the sky and we're bringing them down and back into our little pockets here. 
for squeezing our shoulders. Whenever you're ready, you can begin. All right, pulling that imaginary rope down, squeezing behind, and back up we go. Down, and then back up, squeezing the shoulder blades. Same concept here. Trying to strengthen those back muscles for that posture. Good, keep it up. All right, if you'd like a little challenge, you can add a knee lift. We can do all these exercises sitting if you'd like. I forgot to mention as well. And you can add weights if you'd like. This is your workout. I'm just here facilitating it. You're doing great. Three seconds, two, and last one. Good, all right. Next up, we are on our single leg. We're just gonna be putting all of our weight on the stabilizing leg here. So for me, it's my left. Then we're gonna go reach to the front, squish that bug, then it crawl to the side, go grab it, then to the back. We're just staying on this leg the entire time. Really focus on distributing your weight here rather than this side. If you need, you can take a little break in between them and rest that foot. But for a greater challenge, you can just go right into it and give a little bend in that knee. Using that chair if you need here, front, side, and back, you have 10 seconds, you're almost there. This one is a burner, you got it. And to the back, good. To the side and to the front, good. All right, shake that leg out because we have to go on to the other side now. Same concept here, front, side, and back, just on the other leg. All right, Ooh, whenever you're ready, you can begin. Reaching to that front, Reaching to that side and to the back, to the side, to the front. If this is too much to do all these reps on one leg, you can go back and forth. So say I just did the left leg, so now I'm going to the right. Now we're gonna to switch to the left. But for a challenge, go ahead and see how many reps you can do on one leg. Have a little good side the front, to the side, to the back. Side, you have 10 seconds. This is our last exercise in our first circuit. Keep pushing, you're doing great. And to the back, good, all right. Grab some water here. We are getting ready for our second circuit. You can pause or keep with me here. We are gonna start our next circuit in 10 seconds. First, we're gonna begin with some birdies, okay? So I want you to relax your hands behind your lower back, resting them here like a little bird. You're gonna make some wings. You can have your fists relaxing here or on, but I'm just gonna have them here. And we can just make our wings go back, lifting our chest, our eyes, our ears, our nose, everything, and returning to neutral. Lifting our chest, pulling back our wings, and relax. Lifting our chest, good, and relax. Lift, relax, lift, relax. You have 15 seconds, keep pulling. You're squeezing the shoulder blades back here again, really focusing on this posture. Back and down. I hope you are five inches taller after we're done here. Good, all right, you can relax. Next up, we have a squat jump. So I really want you to focus on distributing your weight equally throughout your legs, bending at the knees and sitting back. If you would like a chair behind you for some safety, please go ahead. But if not, you can begin. And we're gonna reach to the sky as if we're gonna jump. And you can jump if you'd like. For a little more challenge, you can lift your toes. For a balance aspect of this, Good, slow and controlled here. Focus on what muscles you're activating. Your glutes, your quads, your calves for that toe raise. Good, keep on going. 
Sitting back into a chair, reaching to the sky. Good. Sitting back, reaching to the sky. You've got to go 10 seconds. Sitting back, reaching to the sky. Sitting back, sky. Last one. All right, all right. Good job. Okay, next up we have a pendulum. You can use a chair if you'd like again, as I mentioned before. But we're just going to really focus on shifting our body weight to one side, the opposing side, and then hold for three seconds. Then we go back. One, two, three. Hold for one, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Focus on shifting that weight completely. One, two, three. And activating that outer hip here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You have 15 seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. All right. And you can relax here. Okay. So starting out this next one, we're just going to begin in a tandem stance. If you need, you can have a little offset into the stance. But for a challenge, try and get into a straight line, heel to toe. We're just going to begin by holding this with one foot forward. And whenever you're ready, we're just going to extend one arm out, then the other. As if we're doing a jab. Oh my gosh, and a cross, good. <laughs> you can yell it out if you'd like here. Let's hear you, jab, cross, good, jab, cross, good, jab, cross. If you want a little more cardio, pick that pace up, or just really focus on squeezing that core and keeping your balance with those hips here. Good. Keep it up. You have five seconds. Four, three, two. Last one. Good. All right. Now I want to see a tandem stance sidewalk. So we're just going to keep into a straight line here. And we're just going to sidestep throughout the area that you have in front of you. If you do not have an area in front of you, you can go back into that tandem stance and just rock side to side with a punch if you'd like for a little cognitive exercise there. Just walking side to side here. If you would like a challenge, go into a little squat. You kind of look like a crab. <laughs> Good, all right, into the other side. Really trying to get our hips and glutes activated here to help us stabilize us and balance us throughout these Walks of our life. Good. Side to side. Keep it up. Trying to stay in a straight line. Good. You have five seconds. Two and one. Good, good. All right. Let's just take a couple deep breaths here. Great job. All right, thank you so much for coming out with me today. If you'd like, you can go to our core and stretch video. Um, it is on our YouTube channel and just go from there and you can end with a nice little ab exercise and stretch. All right, thank you so much for coming out, uh, joining me today. We will see you next time. Great job.